Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Y'all know this whole drama that's going on with Caesar Pena, you know, the, the Breakfast Club, DJ MV. So he is finally speaking. Um, I don't have my tiny violin because I'm not in Minnesota right now. But he's talking about the situation. He's claiming DJ Envy had nothing to do with it. He's finding out who his real friends are. Um, he's blaming, you know, Tony for being basically messy, him and the credit dude. Child, he has blame for everybody but himself. So we're going to go ahead and watch. I don't think we're going to watch the whole video, but we're going to watch some of it. Caesar Pena. It looks like we have an excellent connection, so I hope y'all can still see and hear me. Okay, let me go ahead and share. I apologize that I haven't really spoken out, right? Because everybody now, you know, we have attorneys. We got to watch what we say, you know, all these different things. There's so many different rules now, right? Um, every five minutes, you know, I say hi to my mailman, and I think he's going to sue me, right? <laughs> At this point, I think my landscaper, I think everybody's suing me. I don't, I don't know who's going to sue me. I can't say anything, right? Um, the one thing I am going to say, uh, you know, whenever you touch success, right, you get all these people that want to be around you, right? Everybody wants to be a friend. Everybody wants to just touch you, right? Because, like, oh, my God, I touched this guy. He'll change my life, Right? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I'm successful, right? I was successful. Everybody wants to be my friend. Everybody wants to be around me. As soon as and all these people that have profited from my success, which there's more people that profited from my success than the people that are suing me. But yeah, all these people that profited from my success, all the people that I have built out of jail, all the people that I have put cars in my name, apartments in my name, help them with down payments for houses, help them with this, help them with when they can't pay their rent. Where are these people at? I don't see them, but yet I got all the haters, right? All the Tony Bologna fans that are on my page. You're going to jail. Pay the people. But yet there's two, three sides to every story, right? I have 20 lawsuits. Out of those 20 lawsuits, a lot of those people I don't owe money to. Because everybody's suing me because they're like, oh my God, this guy's successful. I could sue him. I could sue him. I could sue him. Or I'm going to get this money, right? Then you have all these people being co, co what's the word? Coerced? Coerced? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, whatever the word is, right? To sue people affiliated with me just because they're a bigger name, right? They're a bigger name than me. And that's the situation that breaks my heart the most is how in all these lawsuits, these 20 lawsuits, DJ Envy was never in the room with me. DJ Envy has nothing to do with any of these 20 lawsuits of these people that are suing me. And it's, it fucking sucks, bro. It pisses me off that all these people are bashing DJ Envy, Fun Master Flex, Rick Ross, every single person. Because what you people got to understand is that DJ Envy is so successful in hip hop that as far as a DJ, the people just don't like him. And even though I love DJ Envy, but 9 out of 10 people don't like him. I don't know why. You know, what that, what, what that, what's that about? I don't know if DJ Envy's a bad tipper. I don't know what it is. Well, he is, he is a bad tipper. I'm not going to lie. He is a bad tipper. Sorry, Envy. But, you know, you got this guy, Tony the Closer, uh, making, you know, talking like there's a narrative, right? And people don't see it. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I talk shit about Caesar. I'm selling my my girl's ugly ass boots. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about Jenny Tips. I'm selling a real estate course. I talk shit about Caesar. I talk shit about DJ Envy. I'm selling an ugly ass t-shirt. And people don't see that, right? First of all, sir, I'm going to need you to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. When people get involved in things, especially like scamming, you're, you're going to find out who your real friends are. Nobody's going to stand next to you 
when you are sitting here in 20 lawsuits, um, it's coming out that you didn't own a majority of these homes that you were selling to multiple people. Why would people stand next to you? It's going to look bad for their own personal business, their own personal brand. The fact that he's still dick riding DJ Envy and, you know, oh, DJ Envy didn't do anything and this makes me feel bad. It sounds like DJ Envy may have allegedly cut him a check or told him, you know, you better clean this up, clean up my name or, you know, possibly threaten him because y'all don't even follow each other. Like you're, you're going so hard for DJ Envy and y'all don't even follow each other anymore. DJ Envy unfollowed you. DJ Envy is distancing himself from you. You know, the whole thing, it's very funny that he's more mad that he's been exposed by Tony and the fans saying things than the fact that he's out here legitimately scamming people. Another thing that's very interesting about this situation, like I you know, tell folks all the time, is that you have to vet people. This man is laughing and giggling and carrying on like this is funny. And I get sometimes people laugh because of nervousness or they don't know how to handle situations, but there's nothing funny about this. You know, then he starts going in on folks being broke and saying that, you know, he may go to jail, but he can always, you know, come back out and make more money. So we're gonna go ahead and finish listening. I'm gonna, you know, skip past a few parts. We're going to finish listening to you're feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. Oh, I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I got locked up. I'm still here. Right. So now I'm here. And guess what? You fucking geniuses that you all want me seeing get charged and get locked up. Now the government is involved. Now the government's going to come in and say, we're staying all these lawsuits till your criminal proceedings are done. So guess what? From a year to two years to getting paid, now nah, it could be three to five years. And if you guys will be lucky if you see anything. And th this is like the most retarded shit in the world. Instead of having a conversation with somebody that's been successful for all these years, I have a track record from 2017 to 2022 of no lawsuits, no problems. Then this guy starts bashing me. I got a shit little lawsuits, right? My whole thing is this. He's just making like a bunch of excuses at this point um you took investor money point blank period and this is the problem is that i get that mentality of you shouldn't use your own money you got to use other people's money for you like let's say you're trying to you know shoot a movie right you may not have the funds to pay for the locations and the camera equipment things like that so you get investor money to help you create your own documentary, your own movie. People do that all the time in LA. So, and the same thing with real estate. But the problem is this though. Once somebody gives you money and you have a contract, or in this case, a lot of verbal agreements, that that money is supposed to be used to buy homes, property, to you know hire contractors, on the bids that you put out there for like different things to rehab these homes and you spend that money on other things other than what you're supposed to do with that money, that white there is wire fraud. That is fraudulent all the way. You cannot mix money that people give you for certain things. You can't turn around and dip in the stash and go get DoorDash. You can't turn around and dip in the stash and go to the Cheesecake Factory. Those are two different things. You have to have separate accounts, one for your investors that's never touched. And if you take any of that money out, you have to have the receipts showing this money was taken out to start a construction loan, to pay for the digging, to pay for the cement. You have to have receipts for everything. So he's full of shit. The fact that he's, you know, there's video of him and DJ Envy talking about using other people's money. And now he wants to sit here and try and play crazy and act like, you know, everybody's just hating. And, you know, these people are stupid. You guys are suing him. So now this has stopped him from being able to pay people back. The thing is, these people had contracts with him long before this, right? He's been doing this since 2017. People were supposed to have a ROI within six months that he was unable to pay. So regardless if he was still able to do the whole, you know, flipping NJ situation, he was already in the hole and not being able to pay people, hence why he was robbing Peter to pay Paul. So I don't feel bad for him. I think it's really sad, this whole situation. And like I've said before, this is why as influencers and people who watch influencers, you have to be careful with who you follow. This is why I don't get myself involved with other influencers. 
I refuse to do collaborations and bring any random person on my channel to talk about things, real estate and courses and all that shit. Fuck that. Create your own platform and you go pitch that stuff on your own platform. You'll never do it here on my platform. I'm never going to allow somebody to come and sell nonsense to my tea sippers, to people. Even with some of these sponsorships, you have to like really vet them. I told y'all a while ago when established titles, they hit me up and wanted me to sell to my audience, you know, titles in Ireland or some shit or Scotland. And so as I did more investigation, I'm like, this doesn't even sound right. Like, can I now go to Scotland and be a real lord or a lady? And so the more I investigated, I'm like, this sounds like a bunch of fraud. It just sounds stupid. And so I never pitched it. I never sold it. I told them, never mind, I'm not interested. And they were trying to give me several thousand dollars to promote it. I was like, no, I'm straight. This doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and then we find out months later that it was a scam and a lot of YouTubers got caught up in the established title scams. So you have to be careful. This is why I don't promote people's GoFundMes, people's, you know, none of that stuff. If you want to know, you know, somebody is going through something and they have a GoFundMe up, you need to go to their GoFundMe yourself directly and go donate your own money. I'm not posting links to other people's shit because then as soon as something comes back fraudulent, it comes back on me because I promoted it, because I shared it. So I always tell people, you know, even in disaster situations, go look up, you know, the Red Cross info or the GoFundMe info, you know, if you want to donate to the Gaza Strip or to, you know, Hurricane Relief. You need to go do your own research and go vet the people that you are sending your money to. The problem is right now, everybody wants people to do the work for them. And it's nobody's job to do your due diligence, okay? This is your money. This is money coming out of your household. You're taking out of your children's mouths. So you need to do your due diligence. Don't let somebody just, you know, sit up on the breakfast club in a nice suit and run their mouth. I'm sorry. Caesar looks like he doesn't care about his health. And this is not me being shady. That man is morbidly obese. So the fact that he doesn't care about his health, I don't get good vibes that he's going to care about my money. I'm just saying. He just looked unhealthy, un un unkempt. And people were just giving him thousands and thousands of dollars. I, I just, I don't get it. I, you know, I'm just keeping it real. He just didn't look like he cared. Like he didn't even care himself. He, even in that stream, he's like, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I'm not the most articulate person. Y'all know that. But I'm also not selling shit and acting like I'm an expert in everything. I just give my opinion on stuff and that's it. You know, so I just feel like, yeah, he just looked mangy. Like he just rolled over out of bed like, hey, y'all, I'm in this house. Like, there was one video of him and DJ Envy sitting in front of some house acting like, oh, yeah, the concrete's about to be poured in. There was, like, no construction anything. There was, like, no safety inspection stick. There was just nothing. There was no hard hats to be seen, no construction workers. And y'all remember when I was building my house, I'm literally showing you the masonry guy sitting in my front yard, mixing the masonry mix. He's putting, cause you know, I wanted stone on the front of my house to break up the black. Cause I built the all black house and I wanted stone. I'm showing y'all the masonry guy there. Y'all are seeing him mixing, you know what I'm saying? They deleted my old Instagram, fuck DJ Vlad for that. But y'all saw the masonry guy mixing the masonry mix, the cement mix. Y'all saw, you know what I'm saying? He was putting the shit on my house. I, I showed y'all the guy laying carpet in, my, in the theater room. Like I'm showing y'all is their building stuff. The, the porcelain. I didn't see none of that from DJ Envy and Cesar Pena. I just seen them in, you know, random homes. But I'm not seeing any construction work being done. Y'all saw literally white men and Mexican men all through my house when I'd be in there just doing like, you know, quick vlogs. There was always guys. They'd be, Mex uh, they'd be Spanish music playing and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, taking breaks and dancing. You know, I'm, I'm kicking it with them and everything. So it's just like, it, none of it made sense. I didn't see any of this. I, I just don't understand like what, were, what was everybody investing in? They're, they're just making videos saying, hey, invest. But we're not seeing any videos showing like people actually doing work and getting the homes together. I didn't see any of those videos. <laughs> Maybe I missed it. I didn't see that shit. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm like, I saw more construction in my house than all of these, you know, real estate ventures 
that Caesar Pena supposedly had. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it at all. Again, y'all, we have to start doing our own research and understand that, you know, when you're investing, investing is not sexy. It's not watching somebody stand in front of a Lamborghini. It's not watching somebody being in, being in a multi-million dollar home and saying, you too can live like this. No, you have to be smart with your money, especially being that times are hard, things are getting worse out here. We are on the verge of World War III. Please do your due diligence. We need to stop allowing scammers like Caesar, Jay Morrison, and all these other people, the Carl Cardones, you know what I'm saying, uh, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, we ain't, we ain't forgot about y'all. Y'all know I don't ever, I can't tell which brother is what. I think it's Logan that had like the crypto, the NFT scams, you know. So we just have to be really smart and understand that nobody who is an influencer should be telling people where to invest their money. You should be talking to a CPA. You should be talking to somebody who has a degree in finance. You know what I'm saying? Even for me, I don't get up here and give people stock advice, real estate advice. I'm not a, food, a fiduciary person. I didn't go to school for that shit. It's stuff that I learned along the way and I taught myself. I, I, would, not, I would be wrong to get up here and then act like I'm like the, the teacher of real estate and stocks. No, you need to go talk to somebody who actually went to school, who actually has a degree in that field. I don't have that. So I have no business trying to educate y'all on some stuff that I don't have a degree in. Now, if I want to play with my money and be risky with my money, that's my business. But I don't have the right to do that and put you guys in a position to play with y'all's money. You know, so do your due diligence, y'all. For real. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.